How long does it take to build a dental office? The first answer is one you don't want to hear. It takes a good bit longer to build a dental office than it should in most jurisdictions and with most contractors. There are reasons for this and mostly they're excuses and none of these are particularly good. Dental office designs are specifically complex, but they're not complicated. With a clear and well-detailed plan, the construction of a dental office is not akin to building a nuclear power plant or a space launch facility. So having said this, let's try to break this down into segments so we can provide you with specific answers. Let's talk about the leasehold improvement situation first, since they're the most common type of practice formation. How long does it take to complete a dental office in a leasehold space? There are two types of leasehold improvement situations. The first is where a practice is planning to rent an existing commercial building where the shell has already been completed. This is the most predictable construction type. The second is where you're going into a leasehold space that hasn't been built. That's a much more similar to the freestanding construction project that we'll talk about later. So I want to get back to the situation where we're talking about a predictable existing construction in an existing space. The municipalities already approved this for commercial use. The core utilities are on site. The landlord is anxious to earn income. In this situation, it can often take longer to develop plans, complete the engineering required, and obtain permits than it will take to do the actual construction. We like to tell doctors who are involved in startups to expect this process to take six to nine months. But let's examine the elements within that situation. Generally, the doctor involved in this office formation will be doing it for the first time. Much of the time spent, therefore, should be on making sure that the vision, both technologically and from a business positioning standpoint, is well established. In our three decades of creating thousands of startup offices, we too often find that the primary motivation for the new office is simply to get out of a lousy associateship. And all too often, this lack of true vision in creating what's next. This is one of the reasons we do over-the-shoulder programs for doctors to help establish that vision. That brings up the next question. How long does it take to actually build a complete office in a leasehold situation? That's easier to answer. A well-planned leasehold improvement project carried out by a professional and sufficiently large construction team should take no longer than 10 to 12 weeks. This assumes certain critical things. For example, is your construction administration focused enough to ensure that subcontractors will arrive in a timely manner? Have all materials been sourced well prior to the construction start? Do you have a pathway for answering any technical questions expediently during the process so that once construction begins, it never is forced to stop? Anything that gets in the way of these requirements has the possibility of significantly extending the construction timeline. And this brings up a final question regarding the timeline in the leasehold improvement situation. How long can it take to complete an office in a leasehold if the dentist clearly identifies their design, aesthetic, and technological needs? This is the exciting part. If your site is selected in a commercially approved location and the building owner is connected to an experienced builder in the local municipality, and the doctor is both clear about their capacity needs and able to follow the lead of an experienced designer, the design to construction process can be completed in as little as four months. We've done it in three, but you really shouldn't expect that. You should spend significant time in the planning stages. That brings us to another chapter of this question. How long does it take to complete a new freestanding office construction project? This is a much more difficult question to answer because of the significant increase in variables. Owning your own freestanding dental office is the objective of many of us, and it's a very worthwhile goal where possible. However, it will, in virtually every situation, require longer planning and development timelines. There's good news and not so good news in all of this. In smaller and more rural towns, it's often possible to move the process of planning for a commercially zoned or zonable property through the approval stages in four to six months. A conceptual plan for the proposed office will be needed to be provided to the authorities, and in most instances, this will require exterior elevations. Zoning board members do not like to be berated by their neighbors for allowing a new ugly office in the neighborhood, so they're often quite sensitive to this. Assuming you're ready to be decisive, 
the process of creating an attractive proposal can easily take two months in its entirely. Given that you must first plan out your functional needs and then coordinate your aesthetic requirements with those. As a result, it wouldn't be unreasonable to find that a well-planned and executed project in a smaller municipality could be carried out with six months of planning and six months of construction. However, you should be forewarned that this is usually not the case. Leave room for indecision on your part or theirs. In larger towns and small cities, and in more restrictive states such as California, this entire process can take significantly longer, and for all the wrong reasons. The design phase doesn't have to take longer. The construction phase doesn't have to take longer. But many times we find that the process of getting a project through planning and zoning on its own takes over a year. There are specific things that you can do in advance to speed up these activities and minimize the possibility of having to go back to the drawing board because of unforeseen requests by the authorities, but you need to plan these activities carefully. Having done this many hundreds of times in those locations, you might want to reach out to us to discuss what those pitfalls are and how to plan around them. It's a true fact that we once completed an office from foundation to occupancy in 10 days and moved the approval process through the legal channels in eight weeks. But those are accomplishments that you should undoubtedly not try to replicate. Contact us if you have questions or concerns about your pending project. We're here to help. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and learn more about the ways to transform your practice. Thank you.